Hello, this is Michelle and I. What a week I've got in store for you. Well, not me, the universe. That's because we've got a full moon, another one I know. We also have Mercury, the planet of communication, going direct. Hurrah! And we have Mars shifting signs. Wow. Here's your weekly astrology. <laughs> Virgo, Virgo, I bring tidings of joy. Thank goodness, Mercury, your ruler, is going direct. Yes! You are able to feel free of all of these chains that have been tying you down. And also, what was worse, Mercury was in a position for you which was very unclear. There were no boundaries. So, so you thought you had these instincts and intuitions, and then you were like, am I being paranoid? Am I being paranoid? Or, hang on a minute, I'm sensing something here. So whatever you've been kind of feeling and unsure about, whether it was paranoia or psychic intuition, should become rapidly clear this week. You also may have found yourself in conversations with maybe an ex-lover or a situation, a romantic situation that had no boundaries. And again, all of that becomes clear now. What is real? What is fiction? What is illusion? And what is a true soul connection? In fact, you might have bumped into someone that you even knew in a past life but it was all very a little bit you know you're a grounded person it was all a little bit too much for you all at once anyway the other good news is on the fifth we have mars the planet of passion the planet of action going into your sign oh yeah that is like a core reboot you are feeling fired up and ready to go you are feeling warrior-like you are feeling energized you're feeling rebooted from the ground up can make you a little bit overly feisty, but I wouldn't worry about that. You, possibly you need to be at the moment. And the full moon on the 6th is in your position of relationships. You are feeling a peak emotional experience with those close to you. It's also conjunct Neptune. So there is that feeling of real bonding and merging. And again, you may feel as if you're going to different dimensions. You might look at your lover's face and you see something like almost like another face there from a past life. I, I don't know if you've ever done that. I have done that. And... Um, you may be doing that this week. It's like a, just a feeling that's much deeper than your average connection. You're really opening up on a very spiritual way this week. So anything tantric is really good as well. But it's, you know, you're feeling good about this. You're feeling emotional, but it's it's positive emotion. You feel like you've come through something, fingers crossed, this week. Mercury is changing signs and going into your sign on the 10th. And that is obviously amazing. You get the gift of the gab. Your words are spells. You are speaking magic and and people are really really receptive to what you've got to say use that energy wisely speak to yourself with deepest love and you know connect with people because there's a whole lot of magic going on take care gorgeous and i'll speak to you soon hello wonderful one thank you so much for listening it would be fabulous if you liked subscribed or shared it would be really really helpful also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.